in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The merciful love of the Lord fills the earth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this Sunday is the second Sunday after Easter. The old name is Misericordia Domini, from the Introit Psalm 33. The Psalm of the day is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Gospel is from St. John, chapter 10. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. And the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Let us pray. O Lord, Heavenly Father, in your fatherly goodness you have been mindful of us poor, miserable sinners, and have given your beloved Son to be our shepherd, not only to nourish us by his word, but also to defend us from sin, death, and the devil. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us, so that as our Shepherd knows us, and provides for us in every affliction, we also may know him, and trusting in him, seek help and comfort in him. Obey his voice with all our hearts, and obtain eternal salvation. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one true God, now and forever. Amen. Let us join in the closing collect. O God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, 
that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant. Make us perfect in every good work to do your will, and work in us that which is well-pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. <laughs>